When we started CSI, I was um, still working in IndyCar and uh, really just wanted to help some friends of mine who are racing sprint cars have a better shock. Um, everything was pretty basic at that point. And so we started just taking uh, a couple other manufacturers' brands and tuning them, making a few parts and pieces to improve that. And it really just evolved from there. We started in 2009 and by 2012, um, we had our own shock and a lot of those pieces were private labeled by another shock manufacturer for us. Um, we didn't have the manufacturing capabilities that they did, um, but we had our own ideas and designs and they were implementing those into some private label pieces for us. From there, it's really grown. Our product lines went from one shock to dozens of shocks. Um, we've continued to evolve and make pieces. Now, we outsource to about seven different machine shops, um, mainly here in Indiana, but we do use a machine shop on the West Coast, but all here in the USA. And the time really has just come for us to bring manufacturing in-house to have one better control over the quality of our products and the lead time uh, to get those products. Number two, being able to R&D uh, pieces for our shocks at a much quicker pace. We'll literally leave, be able to leave the racetrack on a Saturday night. Um, engineering can draw the part up and we'll be able to have it on a machine on the dyno and back at the racetrack the next weekend where now that process takes us months. Number three, we've had plenty of opportunities. Um, our volumes are high enough now to take manufacturing offshore. And we believe wholeheartedly in American manufacturing the quality of our products is paramount to us. That's frankly more important to us than the profit margin on the shock. We want to win races and we feel that winning races sells products, so quality is number one. Um, so that's one of the reasons we went with Herco Machines is um, it's an American company. I mean, they're right up here in Indiana. Um, sure, a few of the parts are made in Italy and some other places, but those machines are assembled. I watched our machines being assembled um, right here in Indianapolis. So we're really excited in 2023 to utilize this space literally right next door to CSI uh, to bring manufacturing in-house. So we've hired a great young programmer that's enthusiastic about racing. We have a wonderful engineering team and um, it's not going to happen overnight, but over the course of the next 12 to 24 months, we're going to be making all of our pieces right here in Brownsburg, Indiana.